Now we're going to head on to, okay, let's get up to 80 devs or up to 130 devs, maybe in that range. Um, how does the organization change at this point and what are some of the pitfalls, you know, engineering leaders could fall into here? Yeah, that's a great question. It starts to look fairly different at about that, about that size. Um, you know, we, we started off the conversation talking about like zero to 30 and you get the small team men mentality and which is great. You get, you're very productive. You move very fast at that 80. We kind of talked about, you're still in that a little bit. You've started to split teams a little, and maybe you can keep that. A little. starts to get harder and harder as you get up there. They're bigger. The number of lines of communication just have exploded at this, at this point, the you've got lots of different teams. You maybe even start to add directors at, at this stage um, so that you're starting to group people, not because, you want like a hierarchy, but because you have more jobs to do, the amount of communication that needs to happen, the amount of independent teams that are moving that need to stay aligned and moving in a similar direction, that gets more and more difficult to mess to manage. Things get messier a, a little bit. And so one of the biggest pitfalls, and I can list a number of them, but one of the biggest is not communicating. Um, it's It's things get messy. You start to lose some visibility into what's going on in the teams. People may start to lose sight of the vision. Some of that stuff that I mentioned earlier about, you know, immediately everybody knows the customer, they know what's important. You can ask anybody and they can tell you in a moment, a little bit of that starts to get lost unless you're deliberate about communicating it. Um, you're probably undergoing a fair amount of change because if you're a, a resilient company and you're agile and you're, you're kind of figuring out what's working and what not working, you're making some changes. Um, and so people might lose sight of things. You have to invest a lot more in, in, in visibility. Um, so things like OKRs, cascading goals, leading through um, measuring things, you know, metrics become super important. Mm -hmm. um, you got to get really good at clean, clear, concise statusing because you need to know what's going on, but you want teams to be moving independently. You don't want to get into a micro manage centrally controlled kind of environment. You want teams making decisions because they're close to the customers, but you don't really have a way to always know what's going on with those teams unless you build good information flow into the organization. So at that size, investing in information flow is extremely important.